Plus, you want a better flying experience? Oh, praise the Lord, yes. From ticket counters to the TSA, we're going to tell you how to get better service from flight attendants, front desk agents, and everyone in between. You can fly Virgin America and get great service, but that's, that's one tip. Just one simple tip for me. We'll get better tips coming up. Oh, I love this segment. Everyone dreads that trip to the airport. You wait on your lines, the security screenings, all that business. So what can you do to make the experience better? Joining us now is the CEO of Up Your Service and author of Uplifting Service, Ron Kaufman. Nice to see you this morning, Ron. Pleasure to be here. And there is the book. So let's dive through it. You've got some great well, by tips, by the way. You say, be appreciative and polite. It's hard when you're in those situations to not get a little fiery sometimes. How can this pay dividends? Well, it pays dividends to you as the customer and to the service provider. There's always two sides to every story. So on one side is the service provider and their job is to give you uplifting service. But the way you are as a customer can also impact their mood and their desire to give you good service. So be an uplifting customer. So I had a friend who booked a first class ticket. She wanted to sleep on the plane in those uh, American Airlines seats that like go all go the way flat. back. She, the, there was a change in the configuration and she got bumped Happens. to business class, which okay. is a totally different seat, but she had paid. And, but there are still people sitting in first class. She went slightly, un, she was annoyed. Okay. I wouldn't say she went ballistic, but the, the flight attendants, everybody told, you know, told her to calm down. And she didn't, she ended up sitting in business class and lost all that money that she paid. Well, that's going to happen from time to time, right? So then the question is, what do you want the airline to do for you and how are you going to get them to do it? And one is you go in and you're the complaining customer and you're pounding on, but then they have to deal with your negative emotion and the situation. If you go in and say, I'm actually a loyal customer and something happened here and I'd love to give you a chance to bounce me back. And what's your name, by the way? Uh, Miss, Miss Susie Smith, okay. And then use it in a positive way and say, Miss Susie Smith, thank you so much. Or Clayton, thanks so much for doing this interview this morning. There, you just smiled. Right, I did. Right. I, I, was, I was touched that you used my name, but I think that actually works. That's you also so say, and well, your third tip here, provide information just the way they want it. What do you right. mean by that? Well, let's say you have a reservation or you've got your ticket or your credit card number. You show up as an upset customer. You're going to throw it all at the service provider. Yeah. There's another way. We just say, hi, I've got a special situation here. I appreciate your help. I've got all my information ready. How would you like me to give it to you hmm. to make it as easy as possible for you to serve me? Now, that lets the service wow. provider know, right, that it's a two-way street. You're going to uplift each other mm -hmm. and they'll go that extra mile for you but if you if you're if, if everything is if you're already on the flight nothing can be done what can you do afterwards oh, like well. when you're the flight's over yeah, afterwards is when, if they did give you good service, it's your chance to give them a compliment because one positive compliment can make someone's career. It can shift the mood in a whole company or on that whole flight. If you didn't get good service, then again, it's your chance to go back to the organization and say, but a complaining customer is a loyal customer. The non-complaining ones will just go complain online. You say, talk to the company. your next tip here is confirm next actions. What right. do you mean by that? So what are you actually going to do for me? Let me make sure that I understand when's that going to happen? What are you going to do? And make sure that it's clear promise in both directions. Makes it easier for them to serve you. This is such a good book, Ron. And that's why it's what, number one on Amazon right number now? Number one on Amazon and Barnes & Noble this week you in the business category. You guys have to get this book. I'm telling it's Uplifting great. service by Ron Coffin. Thanks Thank for you, joining us.